Hello, Facebookers. Hello, Blabbers, wherever you're watching this from. Um, I'm, my name is Alicia Brown, and I'm here with Danielle Boos. And as we promised, we're going to show you tonight and talk about how you can go from vision to publish in 90 days. But before we start, I want to give you a few moments, get a piece of paper, get something to drink if you want, get something to write with, um, because there's going to be a lot of information that you're going to need to take some notes on um, to go forward. I told Danielle earlier, I'm a little messed up here because I'm used to being on radio. So on radio, there's a theme song. So I'm waiting when we hit record, there's going to be a song playing and I'm not hearing anything. No. But, you know, I'm getting used to this lab thing. And, you know, after you hear this recording, after you watch, you'll understand why lab is so important. I think Danielle is going to go into that a little bit later. I am. But definitely, if you're going to be a published author, um, especially self-publishing, you're going to have to do a lot of marketing on your own. So it's going to be very important. Things like Periscope, things like Blab, things like Facebook Live, um, that you really take advantage of and know how to manipulate that because it does mean connections and sales, which, of course, no author can afford not to have. Mm -hmm. So, again, like I said, we're going to give you a few minutes, um, or not a few minutes, a few seconds. Get a pen, get a paper, get something to drink, and we'll just go ahead and get started here with the official introductions. Um, my name is Alicia Brown, the Joy Guru. I am an empowerment coach. I'm a motivational speaker as well as a published author. You know, this is where we're trying to manipulate both screens uh, between Facebook Live as well as um, <laughs> Blab. We'll, we'll get there. The things you do to talk to people and communicate. <laughs> but um, one of the things I have a joy to do every day is making that impact, every day communicating with people. It's an awesome thing, putting your message forward. So I know there's a lot of people out there that have that thing about you want to write a book. It's something that you know that's in you, or you know you just have a powerful message that you want to get out to people. And everybody wants to be a published author. Well, if you don't, you will after this call. But I said before, I'm an empowerment coach, I'm a motivational speaker, I'm an author, also a professional editor, write for a magazine, Sounds like a lot of things I do, and I'm very busy. Also, I'm the president and CEO of Alicia Brown LLC. Also have a nonprofit extension now where we will have programs um, to give out to the community. So that's a lot of different things I do. But why that is important is because all of those platforms were created from being a published author. Literally published one book, and it was probably two to three months later, I was able to audition to be a radio host. Um, that platform exposed me to a magazine that I'm currently the contributing writer for, as well as the associate editor. That has given me a wonderful opportunity to interview all types of celebrities, musicians, um, international politicians. It has been a wonderful platform. But of course, if you're anything like me, what you're asking right now is why do I care? Why does that matter? All those titles I mentioned, as wonderful as they are, not trying to shoot my own horn, but why that is so important is because I am a childhood abuse survivor. That is the whole reason I wrote a book in the first place, because what I wanted to do is help others transition. I want them to be able to reverse the damage of abuse, whether it be childhood abuse, whether they struggled like I did in an abusive um, relationship, and for me, it was parent and child, um, but whether they struggled with abuse and even contemplated suicide. It was something, a dialogue that needs to happen. And if you look at our statistics just in America alone, it's really shocking with our children. It's not just adults. It's not just, you know, those that have been domestic violence situations. Our children every day are killing themselves in record numbers. And I'm a firm believer that once you have survived something, doesn't even matter if you're in the beginning stages or whether, you know, you have successfully transitioned. You truly need to make your message, create your platform, get out there and help others like you because you have the answer. And that's why I really want those listening tonight. That's why we're bringing this webinar about being published, taking your vision and being a published author within 90 days because your message is the answer to someone else's problem. I want to repeat that again. Your message is the answer to someone else's problem. And one of the ways that you can get create a platform, some of you don't have a platform, you don't have a business. Right now, it's just a vision. Right now, it's just a dream. But one of the ways that doors will open for you and you can create that platform is by being a published author. 
others of you are in that situation like Danielle. You already have a brand. You already have a business. But again, you might need additional visibility. All of us can um, enjoy additional revenue. Money is never a bad problem. And we all can enjoy additional exposure. Um, so again, being a published author gives you a certain layer of credibility that you need. It's something you want to leverage. And definitely if you have a testimony of survival, trauma, pain, maybe you don't have that. Maybe you just want a fictional book. They're all good. But definitely if you have a message, you have an overcomer's message, powerful, powerful testimony. You have to write a book because there's too many that are suffering. There's too many that may have been what you've been through and they really need to hear your message. They really need to know the answers. They really need to know how did you get through it? What are some of the obstacles that you face? Sometimes it's a matter of resources that you expose to them that they may not know. So that's so important. And one of the things I advocate as well is for business owners. People want your brand to be relatable. They can hear your uh, slogan. They can hear your company information. They can go to your website. But when you can make yourself, your personality relatable to them, that helps build those relationships. And sometimes when you're writing a book and you're telling your personal story, you may write a book just to spotlight your organization or your business or what's so important about your business. What's the mission? You know, what's your purpose? How was it created? Sometimes it's just a historical record that will make a tremendous difference in how you reach your audience. So that's one of the things I want to put out there tonight when we're doing the introductions. Why it's so important for you to be a published author. Some of you already know why it's important. And you've been sitting on that book for years. But you know what? We all use excuses, don't we? Well, I don't know this. I don't know that. No, that's not the problem. Those are just simply excuses. But anyway, I'm going to let you rest in that. After tonight, you will no longer have an excuse because we're giving you access. We're giving you resources. Now, what I want to do, because I can talk all night, but that wouldn't be fair to Danielle. <laughs> what I want to say is this. You can have the bomb book. Mistake I made because at that point, I did not know. You can have an amazing book, but if no one knows about you, no one knows about it. I don't care what website you have. I don't care what branding materials you have. If they don't know about you, mm -hmm. or at least they don't know about you on a wider scale, you might be a local celebrity. That's great. But if they don't know about you, they don't know about your book. Mm -hmm. They don't know about your company. They don't know anything about what you're doing. You're not going to make the impact you want. You're not going to have the revenue you want. You're not going to have the exposure you want. And if you do, it's going to be a lot slower after a lot of frustration, after a lot of stress. Please don't ask me how I know. But it's okay. It worked out in the end. Danielle, for you that don't know, published her book. It's been, what, one and a half weeks? Yeah, about that long. Okay. One and a half weeks. I'm not even going to tell you how many hundreds of copies she's already sold. <laughs> and I'm not even going to mention, well, yeah, I am, because I already blabbed on Facebook. Um, not going to mention that she's the number one bestseller for Amazon. She's going to tell you that in a minute. You didn't hear it from me at all. <laughs> so <laughs> with that, I'm going to turn it over to Danielle, because Danielle is going to tell you what she did. What was the strategy? Some of the things she did to get that status and how, whether you're already a published author, or you're thinking about publishing a book, what resources she can offer you in order to make that happen? Well, it, she did all the talking, so I was like, That's what I, I can go home, right? That's what I do. Right. No, I'm <laughs> no. Um, first, before I do all she just said, I have people on Facebook that just popped in. I'm say hi to everyone. Hello. And on Blab, Dr. Vibe, Brian, right, thanks Jill. for checking me out. I would say who's over here too, but I'm blind, y'all. I really can't see the names down here. And, and I'm half blind, so I can barely, yeah. But I appreciate the love <laughs> on yes. both ends. So <laughs> I'm Danielle Booth, like she said. I'm not going to do a lot talking about my background. I want to talk about strategy because yes. that's important for you. Um, you can figure out who I am just by searching my name. So that's all I'm going to do about Danielle. But I want to talk to you about how what I did can be something that you can do too. Before you create a book, you need to have a strategy in place. So when I was first developing the book idea, my strategy was to increase my visibility for my nonprofit. That was the strategy. So if you got that paper and pencil down, you need mm -hmm. to be thinking about what's the strategy for your book? What's the purpose of it? 
Are you trying to show them that you're an expert in a certain area? Do you want to show them that you want to bring more visibility to what you're doing, your platform, so they know more about you? Is that what your book is going to be about? Is this a fiction book that you're just writing for fun? Be very clear on what you're writing it for and the strategy behind it. Now, like I said in the beginning, mine was to bring visibility to my nonprofit. What I didn't say was I wanted to sell a million copies. What I didn't say was I was writing this book to show everyone that I know about business development and I know about marketing and I know about social media. I didn't do any of that in my book. If you read the book, it's short stories that align music to my life. To bring visibility to my nonprofit, I wanted people to see that I overcame things. And it's the same population that I work with in my nonprofit. So each story aligns with some of the same struggles that I help young people with in my daily work out in the community. So I was very strategic with writing this book. It was about making you aware of my experiences and how I overcame things, but bringing visibility to my nonprofit. Before I finished the book, I had tailored together a strategy on how I was going to sell and market the book. So when you start writing this book, before you get done with writing, you already need to have a plan on how you're going to launch it. You need to have a plan on how you're going to market it. And you need to have a plan on how you're going to pay for it because it costs well, money. That's just the truth. Let the church say amen. It's, it's not free. Mm. So if you're looking for something to do for free, mm. writing a book isn't it. I will say mm. it doesn't have to cost thousands of dollars because I, I don't know about y'all, but I didn't got hit up from the people saying, if you give me $3,600 well. and write 1,600 words, you can be a bestseller. A contributing author, mm. I'm not interested in doing no $3,600 stuff like that. But I, we'll take $3,600 <laughs> if you want to give it to us. We'll take it now. Come on now. Now, Just saying. But, but <laughs> there are affordable ways where you can get it done. And what I did is something that you can do as well. Now, I do understand that there are people who would rather have somebody to hold them accountable, walk them through each step. And we are able to do that. We, we are going to actually help serve people to do that. But if you're one of those people who say, Danielle, Alicia, I don't really need your help. Mm -hmm. I just really need you to tell me X, Y, and Z so I can mm -hmm. go do X, Y, and Z. Wait. Then you're in the right spot because I'm going to tell you X, Y, and Z. It's really not difficult. People say, how do you make money when you tell all the good stuff? Right. Because people still want to work with me. I will hey. tell you all how to do it. And people still say, but Danielle, I want you to hold my hand or at least help me through the process. So I'm going to serve you tonight by giving you the steps. That's just what it is. You have to write the book. Well, now, if you don't like to write, you can transcribe it. Like, for instance, um, me and Dr. Vibe was talking, and, and he, he can you can use software to talk through whatever you want to say. Recognition. Okay? Yeah. You can do that. I tried it. It didn't work for me. I just decided <laughs> that I would rather just write because it was just doing too much. They can't pick up my words. Like I speak really? English, but it kept messing me up. And I, I guess because I speak like I speak right now, and sometimes it, my sentences didn't look right. But I think anyway, that's his voice recognition software. Anyway, yeah, it was better for me to type. So you have you to pull the book together. I am not agreeing to write anybody's book for them. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll I'll do that. I do have ghost writing services. Her, the joy guru.net, but I'm not about that. Pain. It is a pain, but I, I will do it if, if that's <laughs> I can't do the faces. <laughs> she gonna do it, not Danielle. I'm not writing your book, but if you write the book oh, right, <laughs> you get the book written, it don't have to be perfect. Like, I gave her what I consider garbage. Oh, lord, <laughs> she said it was okay it that she can make that sense bad. of it. <laughs> and, <laughs> She made magic with my garbage. I really oh, brain dumped. I brain dumped. I thought about each section. I put a lot of ideas into it. And then we tailored it into something that looked really nice. Now, I, I do make complete sentences. And uh, I did pay attention in English class. But I don't, <laughs> I don't do the creative writing that we needed for the book. So that's why you need an editor. Okay. 
So I will tell you that even if you decide, I don't need marketing support, I got it covered, invest in an editor, period. It's worth every penny because you are reflecting your brand. You are reflecting yourself when you put that piece of work out into the universe. Mm -hmm. So you don't want garbage out there attached to you because then people are going to say, that's the girl that wrote the janky book. Mm -hmm. And I don't want no more janky Mm -hmm. books from her. So hey, can I add this? Mm-hmm. editing is not just saying you spelled this wrong uh-huh. and um your sentence structure is wrong because some people think that oh well you know it's a capital this and then you use the wrong word here or that's the wrong you know meaning editing is so much more than that it is. because if your flow isn't right mm-hmm. oh everything is spelled properly you use your words correctly that's wonderful but while I'm reading your book, what are you trying to say? You know, the cat jumped on, then the counter, the stove was cut off, and then he slapped, and then they drunk. What, what are you, we can't go all around the corner. You have a good point somewhere, but if the readers got to keep reading it and reading it and connecting that, they're going to stop reading your book. And that is not what you want. So you want to make sure that you hire someone that they're not so focused just on you spelled this right. You did this wrong. You did that. Not just that copy editing stuff, but somebody that knows how to give it a flow. But at the same time, they keep your voice because I can't write your book the way I want it written. I have to pick up your voice and continue to have that, but just structure it in a way where it's readable. We get the point and it's enjoyable. I just wanted to add that. Yeah. And, and that was important. And you pay for that. That's, yeah, you that's, do. That's not free. You do. Don't don't expect you that do. to be free. You don't owe me like yeah. a vacation home, but it's not a free service. Just saying. <laughs> Unless you want to donate a vacation home. We can make that happen. We have no problem. <laughs> <laughs> but before I enlisted Alicia, I'm very cheap. <laughs> or I like to use frugal, but I'm cheap. I don't like to spend a lot of money for Amen. stuff. I didn't figure out how to do it myself. So I was like, before I pay Alicia, I'm going to go look on Upwork and Fiverr and see if somebody, mm-hmm. but I want you to know that you're going to get what you pay for. <laughs> like I would send Uh-oh. them a sample and they would send me garbage back. Oh, that's nice. So you know. So, <laughs> so you want to make sure that you're thinking about that when you're thinking about editing. So I, I'm not going to talk much more about editing because I don't even really know. I just know that I gave her my brain dump. And she bring, brought me back some magical we piece tried. of work. And it we was tried. it was great. <laughs> because what what you see that is written in written form was not what I created. It, it wasn't far away from it, but it wasn't what I created. I, I'm just going to be... That's the editor's job. You're supposed to write. Yeah. You're supposed to yeah. write. You're not supposed to worry about all of that. That's what they get paid for. Mm-hmm. Just Just write. Let it flow. And let them do their job. Yeah. So she does that. I don't. And, and I want you to know, after you get past the editing part, there are a few other steps. Oh, yeah. But you want to make sure first that you have it written, right? You have strategy, strategy before you even write mm-hmm. it. And then you have it edited. After you get it edited and the finished product, she has this lovely checklist of how yeah. you can use Create Space to develop it into uh, the Kindle version to sell on Amazon or a hard copy, I mean, not a hard copy, paperback book that you can print and you get all these different options. She she goes over the copyright and the importance of that. And it's like fees attached to this, okay? So I just want you to know there's some fees attached to it. Yes. I would say to create a book like the one I created, you want to have about $150, $150, I guess. That's that's just a rough number. I spend a little bit more than that. At the but minimum. At the minimum, you could do it if you were doing it by yourself, mm-hmm. $150. Now, that's not without her handy little thing because what her, she created, you got to pay for that because she took time to pull it yeah, all together it for you. Free. So you don't have to search the internet to find it and hope that you get it right. Right. So like, I respect that she charges for that because it took her time to do it. But if you were trying to be very cost effective, you could get that from her and with about $150, have a published something up. 
Right. But once you have it published and it's up on Amazon, don't expect sales to just come out of thin air. Because a lot of people seem to think that when you create a book and you put it on Amazon, that just people are just going to buy it because it's just there. Or if you tweet it and you share it on Facebook that, you know, because you got like, what, 200, 600 friends. So you just know they're going to buy your stuff. They're going to tell people the sales going to be. No, Mm -mm. that ain't how it goes. And mm-hmm. you're doing the Facebook ads and you're doing it yourself and you don't have someone like Danielle that knows like all that scientific rocket. It really is rocket science. I'm sorry. She mm-hmm. has explained it. I've had other experts explain it. As much as I understand what they said, there is a whole formula to just Facebook ads alone. So you really need to invest money in a strategist like her that can go in there, do that little magic stuff that she does. Mm-hmm. But hey, she sold a couple hundred books in, what was it, the first week alone? Trust me, you want to make that investment because it will continue to pay off. And because I'm transparent, I sold a bunch of books, right? But I spent money to mm-hmm. do that. So like I said, the objective was not for me to get rich off of selling the books. It was visibility, mm-hmm. period, visibility. So I've spent hundreds of dollars hundreds of dollars about broken even now so as i start making more money it now i have i'm gonna have revenue right but but i spent money to make money on the front end which means i did like she said i ran facebook ads i did giveaways i worried people to death i was like it's my birthday yay buy book yay it was videos all over the place my friends my family members they they knew and they they bought a portion of the books came from my friends and family members but a lot of my book sales came from marketing mm-hmm. marketing marketing so i used things like i said twitter facebook rec instagram pinterest blab any opportunity that i had to share my book yeah. i shared it i've also done press releases and sent information out to be interviewed so that I can continue to bring visibility to the book. I was very strategic with my sales though. I asked if you are are close to me or connected to me, I asked everybody to get the book around my birthday. March 6th and March 7th was the most important days to me because I know how Amazon works. You need a bunch of sales within a short period of time to boost your book up. And that's what I did. Oh, I'm sorry. Y'all thought that Amazon number one bestseller meant that was because your book was good? No. Strategy. Sorry. I mean, your book, <laughs> and forgive me, your book could absolutely suck. <laughs> but if your strategy is on point, you could be a number one bestseller. Your book could be the bomb.com. But if your strategy sucks, you're not an Amazon bestseller. Just saying. So so I'm, I just gave y'all gave it away like I that was the magic thing I spent a, yeah. I spent hours looking up how it works well the best ways to promote the book and I used trial and error and I spent money to get the book sold and to become a best-selling yes. author because being able to say that means a lot yes, in some does. areas so I understood how it worked and I, I played the game it's exactly. basically and so that's why I'm explaining to all of you, you can do the very same thing with strategy, okay? But if you don't understand how to run ads, you don't understand what areas work better than others, you're going to waste a lot of money. Yes, you are. And I, I, I told you my secret, but I won't sit with anybody step by step on my time to help you do it for free because right. that would be crazy right, of right. me, okay? Um <laughs> But I'm telling you that that is, that's specifically what I did. And I still have a strategy in place for the long term. Exactly. If, you, if, you are, if your objective is to take a book, put it on Amazon and get rich, I want you to be, I, I want you to, I want it to be clear. It's not impossible, right. but it's very challenging to do. Very challenging to do, to get rich with the book. However, you can use that book as your tool to get more opportunities. Right. Okay. You can use that to help you get additional speaking opportunities. You can use it and create like a workshop. Like we were talking about my book and there are specific things in my book where I could create 
workshops to touch on different topics in the book, multiple. And I can have sell workshops. I can sell coaching packages. Heck, that's what we're doing tonight, y'all. Exactly. Hello. Okay. It's a lesson plan. <laughs> you written it. So and that's the one thing. I'm glad you said that, Danielle. <clears throat> one thing about a book, and this is one of our entrepreneurial secrets. Not a secret, but it might be news to some of you. Mm-hmm. You want to do things where you do them one time and mm-hmm. you continue to make money. That's the best strategy yes. for things you do for businesses. Mm-hmm. You don't want to have to keep putting so much energy in doing the same thing over and over and over. Mm-hmm. Having a book is one of those products. Like she said, you mm-hmm. can leverage it. You can do workshops. You can yes. do conferences. You can use it. It's basically a calling card. Mm-hmm. The same way people use a business card, they go to places and say, this is who I am. Here's my contact information. Mm-hmm. That's what a book is professionally. So you have this book, Okay. Mm-hmm. When you market it effectively, it continues to make you money while you sleep. Yes. So as many things as you can do that make you money while you sleep, mm-hmm. that is awesome. But from there, it's like a lesson plan. So if you want to build a conference, if you want to build a workshop, mm-hmm. if you want to get on certain radio shows, which is what I did, um, whatever you want to do, if you want to have a blog, if you want to be um, invited to come speak here, you're using that one product over and over and over to build residual income. So mm-hmm. that's another reason why a book is so important. But again, if you if you market it right, you have that strategy, you have that business plan. I know people know about the importance of a business plan for your business, but no one tells you about a business plan for your book. It's just as important. And that's one of the things when you sit with Danielle, Danielle will strategize with you. Uh, we'll mm-hmm. get with you to see what's your objective, mm-hmm. what are you trying to do, and then give you the resources and the plan to actually do that. Yeah. So I'm glad you brought that point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you can do it in 90 days because that was the title of our uh, webinar, blab-ish kind of thing. 90 days. It can totally be done. Doable. I created... I started the book over the summer and stopped. Like I had like four stories done. And then I was like, I don't think I can do what I want to do. So I just stopped. But then when I dedicated myself, I said uh, somewhere that I'm going to have it by my birthday. And that gave me like two weeks to do it. Okay. Yeah. And so <laughs> within two weeks, that's why I'm making faces. I cranked out the book <laughs> and I bothered her to edit it in like a few days. And I uploaded it. So it doesn't take a lot of time. The pro- The process is based on you yes. and what you're going to do, okay? <laughs> and her availability if you're using her to edit, because if you if you're gonna edit it yourself, good luck. You can do well. It. Hold on, this but, is one of the things we'll talk about with pricing. Mm-hmm. It's what I call. I do have those people where you shut my office down. Mm-hmm. If you're willing to pay that premium, I'll shut the office down. We'll, we can crank that thing out in whatever time frame you need. Just know the quicker you need it, you won't pay through the notes. Yeah. So I do like to at least have a two to three week, week gateway because anyone that edits your book, it's not a done deal. Mm-hmm. You need to look at what they've done. You know, I'm completely open. I might have a client that says, you know what, in this page where you could change mm-hmm. that, I sort of want that footage. Mm-hmm. I know it's not proper, but I sort of really want that statement, that headline. So you mm-hmm. need to look at it. You need to review it. You, you need to give input. So I like to have a minimum of two to three weeks. But again, you want to shut our office down? You're willing to pay to do that? We can make it happen just a little bit. Just know you're going to have to pay for that. Yeah. And she's doing all the shutting down stuff. <laughs> I, I sold it. I'm not editing. I'm not reading. I'm not writing. I don't do that. I'm about strategy. I'm about yeah. helping you to make the tool, take it to the next level, whatever that is for you. That That's my input. She's going to do all that other stuff. <laughs> I've learned to do what I enjoy in life because life is too short and yes. I don't enjoy doing that. And I love it. So I love it. She's the person to make that happen for you. But to the nuts and bolts of it, and we are going to allow people to access questions on Blab. So if you're here on Facebook and you want to access questions, you want to do it over here on the other on Blab, okay? Because I can't get questions on this end and this end. I might come back to Facebook later. And answer questions. But first, I'm going to take care of Black. All right. But I just want y'all to know that we will answer questions in the end. But the nuts and bolts of it is you need a strategy. You need a concept for your book. You need to write the book. You need to publish the book. You need to have, um, you need a copyright. You need an ISBN number. Yeah. You need a book cover. 
and their uh, qualifications for the book cover. Mm -hmm. There are places that you can go to make that happen too. And then you need to uh, go through all the steps through Amazon because they're going to want tax ID information from you and some other information yeah. and how much you're going to sell the book for. And that requires some strategy too. So you want to be doing some research Absolutely. on that. And then you're going to upload it on Amazon. And if they approve all the stuff you put up there, it'll be up for sale and you can start uh, promoting the book. If mm -hmm. you give yourself enough time, you can do like a pre-launch where people can pre-order the book before it's actually live to buy. It's really up to you to decide how you want to do all that. But those are the steps I'm just telling you. So mm -hmm. if anybody decides that, hey, I don't want to pay to get support with Danielle and Alicia, mm -hmm. those are the steps. I wasn't hiding anything. Right. That's just how it goes. If you decide that you prefer to have some one-on-one -on -one support, we are willing to do that. She is great with, she created the notes and all that stuff. Yeah. I'm good with, I know how much money I need to make. So I charge what I'm worth. But she broke it down really nice and pretty. So I'm going to let her tell y'all what it is because I don't even remember. And if you're <laughs> interested, if you're interested, she also has this great like questionnaire thing that you can fill out. Now, it, oh, she's going to give you a price. But if you have a book that's 300 pages, don't expect that we're going to do it for, $50. for the same price as somebody <laughs> who has 30 pages. Hello? I just want to be clear because I don't want nobody saying, but what y'all said was, uh -huh. so no, I didn't. There is, some, <laughs> there is some customizing that can be yeah. done based on your needs. And if you just say, okay, I only need editing support. Well, I'm going to say, holler at her because she has rates. She can talk with you one on one about her rates to do that. But if you decide that you want us to tag team it, then I got your back. We can do that. And I can show you. Um, how to make all that happen with her mm -hmm. doing that stuff that I don't enjoy. I'm going to let her talk to you about <laughs> the prices. Then we're going to answer some questions yes. for anybody who has questions for us. So they say it's all about money. It really isn't. And here's what I want to tell you before we even get into the pricing. To me, it's all about positioning because mm -hmm. for some people, like Danielle, <laughs> I'll use her as an example. You may not love writing. And she was very honest in the beginning. She mm -hmm. said, this ain't a thing. I don't like it. I'm mm -hmm. a grad student. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. I, I get it. Me, I feel like it's like people breathe. I just write. I didn't always realize that. But I've been writing since I was a child. I just love writing. Matter of fact, I think that's what really makes it work for you as the mm -hmm. cu customer, as the client. Because when I'm talking to you. And, you know, when we talk about consultation prices, if you're at that beginning stage or maybe you're like I was and you, you've written some stuff like Danielle said, you wrote it over the summer, you set it down and now you're like, I don't know where to go. I don't eh, I got some stuff here. I don't know what to do with it. You know, how do I make this book? I literally sit down at a consultation with you and most clients will tell you that one hour they walk away with clarity. They know how to write. I just talked to someone a few days ago. And she came to me. She knew exactly what she wanted to do for her book. And I'm listening. And, you know, I, I let you talk. I want to hear background information. But I'm listening to her. I'm going, that's not what you want to do. Or if that is really what you want to do, let me tell you what. From the way you're talking, it's best you do it this way first, because that's what flows easily from you. And then the option you initially mentioned to me, go do that. And when we thought about it, when she took time before we left the call, she's like, you know, you're right. That's why I'm having difficulty because I'm trying to go this way when over here it comes natural. And this is really how I should be writing it. So I don't try to tell you my way that works best for you to do it. I try to listen to you. And based on what you tell me is your desire, guide you into the right direction. So even if writing is just not your thing, it becomes less laborious and it becomes more fun. It becomes pleasurable. It becomes doable. But in order for that to happen, you have to have a plan. And I'm just one of those crazy people. If we sit on consultation, you're talking, you're doing this. Oftentimes, by the time you leave, I've heard book titles. I've heard sections. I've heard sometimes series. But most people, and I told Danielle this, I don't care what she says, that is not one book. That may be the umbrella, okay? That might be the little synopsis. But when you really look at that book, we can pick that thing apart and go, wait a minute, as a reader, I want to know more about that. You can write a book about that. Or over here, when you were talking about this relationship, I want to know about that. That's a whole book in itself. So a lot of times when we have that consultation, we have that hour, 
sometimes it's something where we have to follow this up with the outline. And people that have been given that outline just go, wow, you know, I didn't realize you really made it where I can just go step by step by step and write my book. And I do that purposely if that's what comes with the consultation, because if you have that outline, not one where like when we were in school and they said, oh, Roman, Roman numeral one and Roman numeral two and sit down and sketch out. You know, that might work for some of you. A lot of people that doesn't work. It becomes forced. So I try to work with you where it's not a forced thing, but it purely comes out. Because like I tell every client, if you struggle to write this, if it's a struggle for you to put those words together and try to get a chapter and try to get a page, that's exactly how it reads. When it flows from you, I can tell that when we read it. So that's how we want to do in the beginning. If you haven't written a word or you're just stuck on a certain section, I guide you so it flows from you. Now, some of you, again, I can't guarantee it's effortless because people tell me, Alicia, I really, you know, I'm not, this ain't my thing completely, but I can make it more enjoyable where it's not so hard and difficult. That you're literally struggling for every word, every chapter, every page. Because you don't want that. So you have to be positioned properly. Now, we talked about prices. Of course, you want to know about prices. So here's the deal. And we have different things, as you heard this evening. We offer different services. So it's based on what stage you're in, what you actually need. Um, there's an instructional, what I call do-it-yourself. And I was the product of one of those things. You know, I had my book, that first book, had it written. What I need to know is what to do. What do you do when you have it written? Um, so I was able to learn those, te- those tips, you know, have guidance, research, and put it all together where I was able to do. Now, for that is a $125 fee. And I do say a minimum because sometimes you come in and we find out you really don't want to do it yourself. You might want to do, like, let's say, 85% yourself, but you might still need me for some editing. You might still need me for something else. So... That's why I said minimum. The prices I give you are minimum because, again, we do customized packages. So if you need something else, it's not all going to be $125. Just let you know that. Um, The the do-it-yourself package, again, is where you have your book completed. um, You already have the editor in mind or it's already been edited. And what you really need is some feedback. You need those finalization steps. We go over the checklist. Um, including instructions for you to have what I call self-publishing, which is print on demand and eBooks. And if you're at that stage where it's been edited, the book is ready, you just need to know the hands-on on what do I do. Then when those situations, you could literally be a published author in 24 to 72 hours. Mm-hmm. So it's well worth that investment of a minimum of 125. And also I want to say this, some people were like, you know, Alicia, why do you advocate self-publishing versus a traditional publisher. Well, this is why. Because when you have a traditional publisher, first of all, the cheapest I've ever seen, and I didn't say they were good, just the most cheapest uh, publisher I've ever seen, they're going to charge you a minimum of $1,000. That locks you into a certain number of books. Mm -hmm. Now, typically, this is one thing you need to know, too, about editors. They're human. So there could be a word they didn't catch. There could be a way something was structured that was just wrong. Something later that, you know, you read and you're like, hmm, the best books by the best editors have errors. So don't freak out. Things happen. But with a publishing house, if whatever your package was, you are locked into those printed copies. So if you got 500 copies of books somewhere in your basement that you still trying to tell them to sell out your car, you locked in because you paid your thousands of dollars for that publishing house. With self-publishing, they have what's called print-on-demand. And people, there's a reason why even celebrities are self-publishing. You go and order the number of copies you want. If you want paperback. I have some clients, that's all they do. They are a person, they're face-to-face. They have workshops. They have conferences. They print the copies they need. They sell them, and that's it. Their population really doesn't do things online. They don't want the Kindle version. They don't want e-books. So if that's you and that's your clientele, that's how you do, go ahead. But with the print on demand feature, that allows people to go to that website, order your book. And definitely when you get to the phase that Danielle is talking about, the strategy, the marketing, Mm -hmm. people want that. You know, you have to think about different demographics. Everybody doesn't want that paper copy. 
or everybody may not buy it from you right then when they're in your face, but they may go home and want to order it. So you need that option where they can go online. But with self-publishing, you also have that option where you can order as many or as few copies as you like, and you can do it at a very economical rate. Now, it does depend on whether you have pictures in the book or what have you, but I will tell you, for your average book where it is black and white, um, if there are pictures, you're just printing them in black and white, you're not doing the um, photo finishing, literally, and this might make some people mad, but this is why you need to go ahead and publish your book. Literally, you can order those yourself for a few dollars per book. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Think about people that are selling their books for $14.99. Mm -hmm. I want you to think about the royalties they get. Because if you self-publish, typically, depending on your distribution channels, the royalties are 70% you, mm -hmm. 30%, you know, Amazon, yeah. for example. I can tell you, if you go to a publishing house, that ratio is not the same. You are going to probably give them maybe 40% and higher. So you're losing money for the same thing that you could have just done yourself. Um, so that's one thing. But definitely do it yourself. Um, if you need a professional editor, like Danielle already did that nice segue. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. It depends on the size of your book. The minimum fee is going to start, again, at 125 but if you have a 300-page book and there's a lot of structural things I have to do, it's going to cost me more money. And then if there's a different time frame you need, like some of you, yeah, mm -hmm. Alicia, you can take three, four weeks. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Others of you, nope, I got this event. I need it. I need the edited mm -hmm. version in two weeks. That's going to be a different price because, again, I got to shut down operations to crank it out for you. If you get like 800 pages, in, that's not going to be 125. I'm sorry. So expedite, you know, if you want to expedite it, there's a different price. So that's the do-it-yourself package. That's the professional editing thing. Um, and for that information, you can go to my website tonight, thejoyguru.net. Homepage has the picture of this webinar, mm -hmm. and there is a link. Um, there's a survey, free survey you start. Because the one thing I want to know while I'm trying to help you is how can I help you? Mm -hmm. What point are you at? Do you need, do you not have a word? Um, or are you halfway through? How do you need my assistance? Mm -hmm. So I would definitely say start there. The joyguru.net, mm -hmm. right on that homepage, you'll see a picture of this webinar promo, and there will be a link for you to click to start that survey. And now I'm going to turn it over to Danielle to discuss our consultation. Please. And just so you know, if there is like additional support you need or you need someone to walk through that it's going to, we can price it in a package yes. kind of way for you and it's customizable. Okay. Right. But you want to make sure you reach out to her because we can't explain a specific cost to you without really seeing where you are in the process. Right. And if we can't support you, and you say, like, we really don't have a lot of money. Don't mm -hmm. expect us to do it for you. But we'll at least help you get right to go look for the answers to do it yourself. And I, I, I respect anyone who wants to do this, who mm -hmm. really just can't afford to yes. pay someone to get through the process. So I, we are willing to do that for you. I'm not willing to sit on the phone for hours right. for no money. But I will give you some kind of support to a degree. So right. I'm putting that out there. She's the same way. I'm, I'm glad you, you brought yeah. that because mm -hmm. I forgot to mention that, Danielle. For people that really, I mean, I can't spend your money. But mm -hmm. for people where the finances matter or they'll say, Alicia, you know, I can do like 300. But I also want this that Danielle was talking about. That's mm -hmm. like extra 200. I don't have it. I have shown clients and more than one to show you how to earn that money. Yeah. Before you even have a print copy, mm -hmm. you can't do it. Trust me. My youngest client, which was 19 years old, did it. Mm -hmm. Raised the editing fee. Had pre orders. Yep. Matter of fact, the first day, I think it was the first few hours she did her pre orders, she had an international order. Mm -hmm. So there's a way to generate income yes. before the book is published. Mm -hmm. So don't feel like, oh, they're throwing out these prices. I know I don't have this. The one thing I learned in this process never, ever allow finances or anything else to stop you from pursuing your dream. Because if you really want to do something, there are ways for that to be done. It doesn't always have to be from your pocket, but you have to at least be willing to say, this is something I want to do. Mm -hmm. Now let me launch forward and then yes. figure out how to make that happen. 
not just, well, I don't have this, so forget it. Maybe I'll put it off another five yeah. years until I get it. Yeah. But we're still not doing it for free. Just saying no, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll do payment plans, whatever. Yeah. But, but that's what, what we're talking about there. I'm moving on about the money. Yeah. If you want to do that, please go to the joyguru.net. I put it on the blab down at the bottom. I will actually add it to this video on Facebook when we're done. I know we got a few minutes left. So I'm going to open the seat on lab to answer questions. Yeah. And I'm going to look down my little chat over here while Alicia take over here. Oh, my God. I have just to, to make sure I didn't miss anybody's <laughs> questions. I have to see. Facebook will go in in a minute because I think we only got 30 minutes to do the Facebook thing. But the seat is open on Blab. Dr. Vibe, Brian, if you have a question, you can pop in. And I'm going to scan over here right, right. quick. And y'all gonna just see me up close and personal because I, I can't. I can't see. <laughs> I love it. There's a bunch of people in oh, here. I can't see. Hi that. everyone! It's like Hello. tons of people in here. Wow! Oh my goodness! Facebook is blowing up. Lab was tripping tonight, but everybody Blab here is on here. doesn't like me in hey, my house, hey, so hey. that's why you know I'm here because Hi, Lab likes contact. Her. Somebody Blab said they gonna contact like us. Okay. Okay. All right. So. Any questions, comments, concerns? We're open. My son just walked in the door with my grandmother, so we're oh, going to be wrapping this up because mm -hmm. y'all going to hear noise in a minute. <laughs> I was able to get them out the house for a little bit for this, so it could kind of be professional. Yeah. But they're here. She's so, so terrible. No questions. No questions. <laughs> Final so call. Terrible. Last call. Hi, Tony. Yay, Dr. Bob's going to pop oh, in. All right. Okay, accepting. Good old Dr. Vibe. Come on, let him in, let him in. Y'all might be able to hear Dr. Vibe over here on Facebook Live. We if hope. This works. <laughs> it it never down. works for me. It, yeah. it never. See, come on, that's come why on, come you on. need her because it works on her screen. It doesn't work on mine at all. <laughs> she's saying that and then it's not going to work just because she's saying have mercy probably. Yay, we got there him. There he is. <laughs> How are you this evening? I am blessed, highly favored, a magnet for miracles and a solution for someone's problem. How are you two ladies? All right now. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, lady, on a great uh, sharing for the last 47 minutes. Thank, Thank you. you. She, she I have 30 minutes. I was like, I did. not with how she talked. No, honey. No, no. Th 30 minutes wouldn't, ain't, ain't going to make it for no. her. You know, that ain't no. going to make it. <laughs> uh, I have I have many questions, but I'm only going to ask one or two because time is of the essence and Daniel's family is uh, uh, coming on in. <laughs> so uh, let me let me ask. I'm going to give you a scenario for myself. Mm -hmm. I'm looking to publish some of my shows. Mm -hmm. And I and I have someone actually who does the editing for me. Mm -hmm. They convert the audio to text. What, so you were talking like three hundred page book, etc. I'm only looking initially to just do a very small book to test the marketplace. I don't like going big. I want to test the marketplace because I've got over a thousand shows of con, a thousand conversations of content. Rough ballpark price, rough, and I mean really rough, to <laughs> And because I, I don't want to hold you to anything because you got a business to run and things can always change with circumstances. Mm -hmm. If you're looking to say, I'd say about a book of maybe 20 to 30 pages, mm -hmm. what is one looking to, and also the, the, the editing is done because there's multiple people on right. the conversation, but that's more of a concern of the person that's doing the transcribing mm -hmm. than yourself. What sort of ballpark price? And I mean, rough ballpark price right. is it looking for something like that. Um, if I understood you correctly, the part you have will already be edited. Yeah, it's all, it ought to be edited. Right. So basically all you're looking for is to have it formatted so it can be published. And then the two, the how-to steps and all of that. That sounds like the do-it-yourself package. So if that's what it is, that minimum starts at 125. So okay. you're talking about 30 pages. You know, we give you the steps of what you need to do to self-publish it. That sounds like that minimum package. You do it yourself, which is it starts at one twenty-five. Okay. Yeah, because I, 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 I'm certainly looking at because I now it's even expediting to because I have a number of uh, appearances coming up in the near future, and then one thing as Danielle already mentioned, if you're watching this live or replay. 
don't go to an event with nothing to sell. Yes. <laughs> Come with something. <laughs> yeah. Well, even don't even if it's something complimentary. Yes. Come to come with it. Yes, that's so, why I call leaving money on the table. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, okay. absolutely, and and that's what I'm looking for right now because I already have some things. I have, I have piles of content to share out there, but I I feel that the best thing is to do a little test first. Mm -hmm. And I already I I don't have as I don't I'm not as popular as Danielle. I'm trying to get there. We all are. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Don't, don't let Dr. Bob do that. Don't let him do that. Yeah, what are you? Why are you pointing at me? Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. I'm trying to get on your level, Dr. Bob. Hello. No, no. We're, we're, well, let's put let's put it this way, and hopefully, I can speak offline with both of you. But I'm very blessed that I have a lot of different platforms that I'm sharing on, yes. and and so I've done a lot of my grinding. Mm -hmm. Before I did my before I did my publishing, right? And, and so I, yeah, because one of the one of the platforms I'm blessed on is I I am a regular contributor at the Good Men Project, which has that gets three million unique visitors a month. And he said right. I was popular. Hello, hello. <laughs> See, they they hit me under disguise. It's yeah. all right. Yeah. No, I'm not disguised, and I'm not disguised. I I don't have, I don't have a book out yet. They're, the person beside you is the superstar. Wow. Well, yeah. well, the strategy <laughs> is just a few few weeks away, Doctor Vibe. Yes, I got you back because yeah. you you hooked me up. I'm gonna tell y'all, and, and he didn't even know it, but I've been able to grow my platform immensely by being on his shows. He asked me early on to be a co-host on the Dr. Vibe show for the women's show. And I have made so many connections and gained opportunities because he gave me the opportunity to be on his show. So I am very thankful to know him and to say that he is my friend and, and wow. on his show. Yes. So, so I have to give him some love because yes. he helps me make money and take care of my two babies. And I really appreciate mm -hmm. it, Dr. Vibe. Well, it, it's right back uh, at you because I don't care about the hearts. I care about the hearts and the seats. Amen. Amen. That, 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 that's, that's what I care about. So if I, and some people may have said, why did you ask that lady? You didn't even know. I said, it was just in my heart to ask. There you go. So I just think, yeah, I, I really, I really appreciate what both of you are doing. I will certainly be in contact because I, right. I'm surprised that, yeah, I, I, well, I, I'll be honest. I was I had somebody, but they've disappeared. So I don't know. And time is becoming of the essence because everywhere I'm turning now, speaking, sharing. I don't call them speaking. Uh, sharing engagements are coming up. Right. So I I I it was my goal to have three this year. Mm. I already I already have three. There you go. Mm. There you go. So I want to have something to offer. Exactly. When I'm doing these these sharing engagements, so. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, nothing just happens, and I really thank you, Daniel, for having this sharing time because I I need to do it, yeah. and I want I want to do it the right way in the right time. So the book. So let me put it this way: if I if I'm blessed to work with you two, it's going to be volumes, not one. Yes. 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 <laughs> the universe. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Doctor Vibe. It, it's. Yes. You know, so I'm looking at it that every blab I do is going to turn into publishing. Mm -hmm. oh, all right. That's so. Strategy. Well, you know what? You know what? I'm going to actually add to what both of you shared. This is something I believe. Everybody has a six-figure story. Yeah, amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a six-figure story. Amen. And it doesn't and cost six figures to put it out absolutely. there. Absolutely. So. And and there there was a time when it was difficult to do this, but now you can create a, a book and publish it, yes. and it does not cost thousands of dollars to do it. Well, Danielle, I think you said you shared something very important though in the conversation tonight, and you're saying the one variable that's still a constant is how bad do you want to do yes. it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. The barriers the barriers have reduced and gotten lower. Mm -hmm. It's the commitment. Yep, absolutely. To do it. And I think sometimes 
in order to some, I, I'm going to share it out there with some people, whether it's a blab, whether it's a periscope, whether it's doing a book, sometimes you're going to have to disrupt yourself. Oh, yeah. And disruption is not always a bad thing. Sometimes you got to make, make your mess a message. Yep. Amen. So Amen. no better way than, than sharing your story with people. And I agree, Daniel, you have more. You have more. One book is, Thank you just started. You. Thank you. You just, you just started. <laughs> you're, you're, you're so, if you're just saying that that book is it, you're right. selling yourself short. Thank you. I hope y'all listen. Because keep her because because I'll, when you put the when you put the last period on that book, the new book had started. Yes. <laughs> but she's fortunate because most of the people I work with, they have to start writing the second book before we even finish publishing the first. She got all these. <laughs> Well, no, I, I'm blessed because every time I go on air, it's another chat, it's another exactly. book, another volume, it's another volume, and I, I think it's very important for people to keep on producing. Exactly, exactly. No matter how, no matter how big or how small, you got to keep on producing. Exactly. I tell people you got to prepare yourself. You got to, I'm gonna say, prepare yourself. You got to propel yourself, and you got to keep. No, you got to prepare yourself. You got to position yourself. You got to propel, and then you got to keep on producing. Absolutely. And I want to add to that P, and this is what holds so many people back. It does not have to be perfect. No. If you're waiting for perfection, you're going to wait till you die. Mm -hmm. It does not need to be perfect. And too many people are waiting for perfection. Mm -hmm. So you're sitting on your wealth. You're sitting on your possibilities. You're sitting on your potential. You are sitting on the things that you were uniquely designed to do and that are the answers and keys to enrich someone else's life as well. You cannot afford to do that. Mm -hmm. That's why this is well, so important. I, I, I'm going to add two things to that. First of all, people need to realize you have to get to a point where it's no buts. Yeah. And I mean, B, no, and I'm not talking B-U-T. I'm talking B-U-T-T. -T. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. And also and also something that Mark Cuban said a little while back, for those who know who he is, he said, the greatest enemy of progress is perfection. Yes. That is so true. It's not procrastination. It's perfection. Mm -hmm. and it People want perfect. to have that. Per it will never be yeah. perfect. And time is not going to be perfect either, because many of you know. During the time when I was writing my book and publishing and, and going through that, I was going through the hardest time personally with struggles with my daughter. So I don't want to hear from people that you cannot accomplish things while going through. Sometimes you're going through, you need to get stuff done in that time. Yeah. So, so don't put it off saying, oh, but I got these kids or I'm tired when I come home. Or I, I just can't do it. I'm gonna wait till next year. Next year be better. Next year be better. We're not promised tomorrow, right? And we all have a message, and someone needs to hear the message. So I don't want to hear about what's happening. If I can do it, you can do it too. I'm no exception to the rule. Absolutely. So get it done. Get it out there and use it as a strategy to propel whatever it is that you're doing. If you're in business, it will help. Yeah. If you're a professional speaker, it will help. Period. Use that as a tool to help you move further. Well, even even you know what? Just personally for yourself, it'll help you. Definitely. It's very therapeutic. I tell you, my book, it just freed so much for me. I was like, everybody know my business now. So it's just it's perfect. I feel good. Well, one of the things too is I always ask authors, especially first-time authors. Do you remember that feeling when you held your finished oh. work in your hand for the first time? Yes. Yeah. So when things get so when things get challenging, you can always reflect back to that moment right. that you overcame. Right. Right. I like that. If you don't use your gift, you'll get sick. I like that. And I'll and I'll add to the, I'll add to that. Your gift will take you where your character will fail. Amen. You. Amen. And you know, it's funny that he brought that up. 
that feeling with that first book. Mm -hmm. That is why for my clients, I will not let you, once you hire me, I will not let you give any excuses to not make it happen. Because that feeling, I mean, it's great afterwards and you go places, you have your book, that's great. Nothing replaces that feeling of the first book. When you open it and you see it in printed form, you can look at it on the computer, it's a reality, but when you hold that in your hand and you see the fruit of everything you made excuses for and you took time, well, I don't know if I can do it. When you see it and you hold it. So I get that feeling with every person I work with. I want you to have it. I want to see the things that are created from that published book. So I sink my heels in. I am not going to let you fail it. I am not. So my thing is begin, launch where you are. That's one of my messages on my platform. Launch from where you are. We can always get it better. We can always maximize on it, but launch where you are because you do not want to die with your legacy within. Mm -hmm. Selling yourself short, not releasing what you, only you could give birth to mm -hmm. and having that impact. You don't want to do that. Yeah. So I'm not going to let you do that. If you inquire with me or you hire me, we're not going to let your purpose die within you. We're not going to let your legacy die within you. And we are not going to let you sell yourself short because you were not created to be mediocre. There's nothing mediocre about you the day that you were born and you took your first breath. So stop living that way and stop making excuses and let's get it wrong. Well, I'm going to tell your viewers three simple words and I've shared it a lot lately. Bet on you. Yes. Love it. Yes. I think he just closed our show for us. That, there you go. <laughs> I like that. And he drops the mic. And drops and the mic. It. There you go. I don't think I can follow that one up. <laughs> just, just sharing. I love it. Just sharing. I love it. Just sharing. Bet, bet on That's you. It. Simple as that. That's it. You know? Yeah. That, that's that's the key. You know, and I'm saying it to myself. Now is the time for the book. Exactly. Exactly. I love it. I don't think there's anything else for us to say. Yeah. If no one else has more questions, Dr. Bob kind of did that for us. Yes. I love it. <laughs> so, so if you have questions, you want to pop in the seat or ask a question now, I'm going to give it a few more moments just to make sure. And then I'm going to wrap up the recording. I'm going to put the link down here again, but can you say it for the individuals on Facebook? Oh, sure. Yep. Uh, thejoyguru.net. And if you're looking for me on Google, it's Alicia Brown. First name spelled different. A-L-E-S-H-A. But if you go to thejoyguru.net, that's where you start. It has all my social media information, contact. And like I said, it does have that survey link. So you can tell us how we can help you. Yeah. And if well, and there and there, there's a tip right there for everyone who's viewing. Mm -hmm. Cr create a survey. Yeah. Yeah. You can do that for free, you know. <laughs> there are lots of different platforms. Yeah. To create a survey. Yeah. Cr exactly. Create a survey because that will get you people's email address. Yes. Mm -hmm. And but well, that's a whole other. That's a whole other teaching. That's a whole other <laughs> sharing point. That that we we'll just leave that and let that simmer. The ladies can help you with that one. <laughs> That's a that's a simmer. That's a simmer. That's a simmer. The, the, the get, make get a survey going. Yes, yes, definitely. definitely. You can't afford to waste time. Yeah, you want to know. Yeah, you know what? The person. Mm -hmm. Well, this is another drop. The mic is one of my regular contributors. Henri Morris says, "Time never lost the fight." Come on now. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. That is so true. Time never lost the fight. So. I will share this with everyone out there. All right. Well, it's going to be live on Blab. I'm going to keep it up here for replay yes. purposes. All right. So, um, and this, especially, especially, I'm speaking this to me in the book in regards to the book. Mm -hmm. Is I'm, is there someone that you know that has the same talents as you, but is doing more with them? I like that. I know some people who have less talents than me. That's Hello. Really cool. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Okay. Hello. So Thank when you. I start seeing how they were profiting and monetizing their gifts, I said, what, what am I waiting on? Exactly. 
that's why I'm here. And I'm sharing with all exactly. of you that you can do the very same thing. Exactly. Bet on yeah, you. Absolutely. Very same thing. Well, we're going to wrap this Can't. up, everyone. Thank you. We, we yes. reached the hour mark, a little bit over an hour mark. As I say goodbye, everyone knows me. I'm Danielle Booz. You can find me at daniellebooz.com. If you want the services for the book, though, contact her first. Oh, Lord. If you need marketing only and you don't need any of the other stuff, you're just like, I need the strategy, the marketing yeah. part, then you can come search for me. But I would like you to first start with her um, to make sure that she, you got all that covered. Because if you don't have the book right, mm. there's no point in me helping you market it because you're going to market mm. something that's not your best work. And that's what you're going to have out in the universe. So first, get with Alicia. Go to thejoyguru.net. Do her questionnaire. Make sure you're straight with her. And then come and I'll see about helping you with the marketing piece so that you can join me in the bestseller status. Because yeah. you can all be a bestseller, I'm telling you. Right, right now is the ample time to do it. Don't waste time. Now is the time to that's make right. it happen. So that's me. I'm going to let her say goodbye and then we're going to stop the recording. And if anybody has extra stuff to say on Blab, I'll be there for a little while. All right. Okay. I'm a, I think they say everything. I'm over and out, but I just encourage you again, stop procrastinating. It's not going to be perfect. At least do the survey. At least do the survey and the joyguru.net. That's it. Thank you guys for joining us. <laughs> All right. We're going to stop recording. Somebody's coming in. The